Hello, hello. This is Keith Cooks. I'm Keith, and today I'm going to do something slightly exotic. I'm going to make chicken baked in hay with a side of leeks au gratin. Before we start, a couple of shout outs one to a new patron, Amy Jane. And also one to Alan Brown, who Patreon are telling me is a new patron, but at the same time they say he's been a patron for three years. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there, but anyway, welcome. Thank you. Now, nobody's actually requested this, but Julie B did request chicken casserole, so I reckon this is close enough. So, Julie B, this is for you. What inspired me to do this dish was uh, a present that I got from Mrs. Keith Cooks for Christmas. Ugh, a ugh, very heavy cast iron casserole dish, uh, which I'm chuffed to bits with. So uh, I wanted to do something that could use that, and this is one of those things. If you enjoy this video, give it a like, share, subscribe, etc. And let's get on with it. Hay baked chicken. Okay, to make a hay baked chicken, you need a chicken. This one is 1.7 kilos. You need a vessel with a tight fitting lid. <coughs> Cast iron is probably the best, but also, you know, regular. An ordinary ceramic or glass casserole dish with a lid will work too. You need some hay. Uh, this is sold as bedding by Tesco's, but it does say it's meadow hay sun dried. This is the proper stuff. <laughs> and also, the lid of the vessel needs to be sealed to the bottom with uh, pastry dough. So for that you need plain all-purpose flour, enough water to make it come together, a teaspoon of salt. You need some warm butter to coat the chicken in, and salt and ground black pepper. Also, completely optional, I've got um, a sheet, <laughs> a piece of muslin cloth, cheesecloth, to wrap the chicken in and the reason for that is just to stop the hay from sticking to the skin. It doesn't matter if it does stick to the skin but it's hard to get it off so it's just to make, make your life easier. But um, uh, things like foil or greaseproof paper won't work because you need the, the flavour of the hay to be able to penetrate through the wrapping. I'll make the dough first. Stir in one teaspoon of salt. And then just add water a bit at a time until this comes together in a bowl. Okay, now, right now, a bit of flour on the worktop. Roll this out into a sausage that will completely encircle the uh, thing. All right, and now we just place it on the rim, and I'm I'm doing this before putting this the, the hay in because when I did it on my first tester, uh, the hay well I, I, the hay was in the way if you like. So if you if you've ever tried to make an authentic Indian biryani. This this is similar to the dumb method of uh, cooking, uh, which basically means in a pot sealed with dough. I'm just going to spread some butter over the top of the chicken and give it a good sprinkling of salt and ground black pepper with the fancy electric grinders that I just can't believe I bought. <laughs> you want your oven preheating to 180 degrees Celsius for a fan oven, convection oven. That's 200 for a conventional one and that is gas six. And now pack the, the bottom and sides with hay. It gets everywhere this stuff, it's really annoying. <laughs> But it's worth it because this will be the juiciest, tenderest and tastiest chicken that you've probably ever had. You might be wondering what the difference is between hay and straw, so I will enlighten you. Hay is grown specifically to be winter food for animals. So it's things like grass and things related to grass 
and it's the whole plant cut down near the roots and left to dry in the fields and then baled up. Whereas straw is what you have left as a byproduct basically of growing things like corn, barley, wheat, where the seed head is harvested and what you're left is, is well, te literally the straw, the hollow stem. So there's not a lot of nutrition in that, but it is excellent for insulation and for bedding for the beasties and so on. So now you know. Now we'll wrap the chicken in the muslin cloth. Yeah, loosely wrap it all, all around. And then we want to get the chicken into the hay. I pack hay on the top. And we'll try and squish the lid on. <laughs> get rid of any hay that's sticking out because we want a really good seal. And when it's sealed, that goes in the oven for uh, one hour and 15 minutes for this size of chicken. If it was smaller, probably an hour would be fine. All right, while the chicken's cooking, I'll make the leek au gratin. So what you need is a couple of leeks. I would have preferred four smaller ones, younger ones, but you know, it's uh, the deep midwinter, so this is what you get. A cup of breadcrumbs, a uh, pot of double cream, heavy cream, that's 300 ml. A small handful of flat leaf parsley, a teaspoon or two of thyme, a couple of cloves of garlic, 50 grams of butter, and some cheese, cheddar, and some, well, parm parmesan or grana padano. I, I always use Grana Padano because it's 10p cheaper. So the first thing to do is top and tail your leeks, cut them in half. I'm using this dish to cook them in, so that fits quite nicely. But you want to cut each half lengthways. They're fairly clean actually. If, if, there's, if there's any grit or soil, just get rid of it. Well, this is slightly embarrassing. I've got <laughs> one one half left over. Maybe I can just cram it. Just cover that with the cream. Proper healthy dish this. Generous grind of salt. And grab that pepper. Cover that tightly with foil and we pop that in the oven for 50 minutes, 5-0. I'm going to prep the toppings, so I want to finely chop the parsley and mince the garlic. Season the breadcrumbs with ground black pepper and salt. And then we'll add the parsley and the garlic. Want some thyme. And I've melted the butter, so I'm going to just pour that over, set that aside until we need it. I'm just going to grate some cheese. Right, time's up for both those things, so I'll take them out. Uh, the chicken has to stay in the pot sealed for uh, another 15 minutes. But now the leeks have a, ooh, have a poke. Yeah, they're nice and nice and soft. I'd say that those are cooked. So uh, we need to finish them off with the topping and then put them under the grill the broiler uh, to brown. So cheese and the breadcrumbs. It's going to give us a lovely, crunchy, cheesy top. We'll take it 
it out. Okay, now let's, let's see if we can hack the crust off. Right, let's see if we can get the lid off. Hey, guess what? There's a chicken in here. Now, the thing is, because it's been all wrapped up and that, it hasn't browned much at all. And so, you know, it, it looks fairly unappetizing. So I'm going to put that under the grill for a few minutes till it's browned and crisped up a bit. And of course, you are super intelligent people, so you've spotted the flaw in what I just said. I'm going to need to take it out of the cloth because that will just burn. Yep. All right, here we go. That's um, a bit uneven, so I'm going to give it a quick zap with a blowtorch. And now it's taste test time with Mrs. Keith Cooks. Hello, darling. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, guys. Ooh. Oh, that's mine. This is yours. <laughs> so I know what this is because he made this last week and it was so good that he had to do it for you. But what's this? Uh, Leek au gratin. Oh. Okay. Well. Yes, please. I can have a bit of chicken, can't I? Of course, can. <laughs> mhm. Mm that is every bit as moist as it was last week. Mm. Yeah, it is. It's fantastic. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. This works. Mm. <laughs> and uh nothing more to say really. It's fantastic. It's <laughs> yum yum. Mm. It might seem like well it's not it's not a lot of fuss. Well it is a bit of fuss, but is it a bit of fuss or a lot of fuss? Well, I don't know you see, because you cook it and I eat it. But um, it's the second time you've made it in two weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so clearly worth the effort. Yeah, but this is very nice. We've got enough to the straws get through, even though it's hay. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I might try uh, bird's nest soup. I was thinking, you know, when it's in its nest, you could call it chicken in the nest sort of thing. Mm -hmm. If you want to be twee. It's time to stop. Okay. Thanks for watching <laughs> and see, see you, you next, next time. time.